right, how's everybody doing? I'm gonna do a little work on the Kyo show here. And this is just nitro fuel I'm using. This is the easiest way I've found to remove this paint, and it doesn't hurt the Lexan. As you can see, it stays really clear afterwards. I've used that nitro fuel. I was using paper towels, but this toothbrush really seems to be doing the job. Just let it soak for a little bit and start scrubbing. And it works works pretty good and pretty quick. And so far this is the best way I found to do it. It doesn't seem to be leaving too much in the way of scratches either. Now you can see in just a the short time we've had the camera rolling here, how much we've re removed from the hood area. Over here. And this is good because it gets inside the, the cracks, too. All that doesn't seem to have too much effort involved, and you can repaint your shells. That means you can take the ones from the factory if you don't like them and make them into your own custom designs. And there's a ways to go, but you can see in just that little bit of time, completely stripped off this whole front area. Now well, we're getting the getting the Kyosho Raider ready for a repaint. Try to get back to more of the box box art style it has some of the stickers left on it so that's good all right stay tuned for more all right back here with a little update now this is about a half hour to get it this good it's not all scratched up i just sprayed it out with a little bit of water and degreaser just to get some of the funk out of it so i can show you how much progress we've made it's still pretty pretty clear so this is I think a really good way to strip these old uh, vintage bodies down because some of them are very difficult to find and even if you do find them they're very expensive well a little bit more work with uh, some fresh nitro fuel I think I can get the rest of this out of the, the cracks and areas and give it a really good washing and degreasing tape it off and get it painted up all right, I'll be back with another update on the Kyosho project shortly. All right, so this turned out actually a little better than I thought. All right, this body is somewhere between 30 and 32 years old. And look how clear it came out. It's about like a new body. And I've got a spot to repair here. I'm going to do that after I paint it so it's not as noticeable. Uh, to get down in the in the cracks, I just used this stiff bristle brush along with the nitro fuel, and it came right out. So I'm gonna get uh, tape it off and get it painted. I'm back with another update soon. All right. Well, there she is after I uh, stripped it down, remasked, and repainted it. It came out pretty good, and it's uh, similar to the box art, which is what I was going for. I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it exact because so I didn't have the sticker package, but 
that's close enough for me. I have uh, a little under a hundred dollars in this project, so not not bad to go so far. That's that's getting everything back into running condition. So for the inside here, where it was busted before, here in the back, I went ahead and uh, put some drywall screen across there with hot glue and Gorilla Tape. That should hold that fairly decent. And then in here. I've stripped all the old electronics out, the, the manual controls. Uh, I did leave the servo. And I have not been able to locate any more tires, so I'm, I'm still stuck with these for the moment. I think maybe, possibly, the Grasshopper tires might fit on these rims, or the uh, Hornet. I'm going I'm to see. I did get the front wheels back on to the, the stock ones that should have been on there. And this motor is working and working fine. I cleaned it out. It was full of all kinds of gunk. I gave the whole car a good cleaning. But um, I fried the motor on my Kiyosho Dirt Hog earlier in the week. So I decided to take the electronics out of it since I'm going to a brushless system. So I've added the ESC from the Dirt Hog under here. And I have it set to LiPo mode. And uh, went ahead and used the receiver from that too. I'll turn that on. Uh, it should be, other than this original servo, it should be pretty well waterproof electronics. The steering works good. Oh, there she is, uh, back on the road two-wheel drive Kyosho Raider. Uh, next steps, take it out for a test drive. So if you want to stay tuned for that, we'll get that going too.